In this lecture, we'll take a look at the demo of Secret Manager. So first step, go to cloud.google.com. Make sure you're in the right account. Otherwise, click on the top right corner to change to the correct account. Now let's click on go to console. So to access the secret manager, all you have to do is search for the service secret manager. And this is the service. So let's go into the secret manager service. And firstly, we have to enable the API. So let's click on enable. Or you could just go in and enable the API separately before coming into the service page as well. So on the left side, you can see a whole bunch of things, including things like reCAPTCHA, which you might be familiar with, key management, data loss prevention, etc. We are going to keep it very simple for this, uh, for the purposes of this demo. So simply you can create a secret by clicking on create secret and give a name, say my secret. For example, you can upload a file with some values or you can just give some secret values here. Then there are other things like you can encrypt it using key management, although it is encrypted with Google Manage Key by default. There's a rotation, you can set the rotation period note that it will not automatically rotate so there are learn more you can click on any of these to go to the help to understand more expiry you can set an expiry date for the secret when it will expire so encryption So there are options like replication policy, encryption. By default, it is encrypted by Google Manage Key, but you can use your own key to encrypt as well if you want. Rotation, you can set a rotation period. Note that it will only send rotation notifications to pop sub topics. It will not automatically rotate. Again, there are uh, hyperlinks here. You can click on that to go to the Google documentation to read more about it. You can set a notification to pops up whenever the secret or its version are changed. You can set an expiry date if you want, and you can add labels to organize and categorize your secrets. Uh, we are going to not use any of that. We are just going to simply create the secret. And that's uh, pretty much it. Like So we have the secret here. Now we can go into the actions here and we can see this view the secret value and this is the secret value and you can go in here and you can see the various versions. So for example, if I go in here, and let's, so for example, if I edit secret, So for example, if I go into overview, now I can go back to the secret details. And again, from the secret manager page, I can also add a new version or disable new versions, delete, etc. So if I add a new version, I can change the secret value here. I can also disable past versions if I want. And now if I go into this, if I click into this, then I can see two versions. So quick bit of cleanup. So we can either go into the secret and delete, or we can just choose here and we can delete as well. We have to give the name of the secret. delete 
and that's pretty much it uh, we can also go back to the project page just to make sure that nothing else was created uh, it shouldn't have been created so that was a quick overview and a demo of secret manager thank you and i'll see you in the next lecture